Oh my goodness, guys. I am not surrounded by total junk. I don't have a couch, I don't have a bed, I don't have a headboard behind me this week because we are back in the house. The hardwood floors are installed, stained, sealed, all that good stuff. So I have been working very hard at getting everything back upstairs and into place. The built-ins have been re uh, decorated. My kitchen counters are pretty good. The bedroom is pretty much done. I did decide to kind of change things up when we moved things back upstairs, especially now that we've lived in the house for a year. I kind of have a better idea of where I want things to go, like what's going to be more functional for our family. And then I have a lot of things <laughs> that I want to do also as I move things back upstairs. So excited to share that with you, but I also have a haul. So these are some things that I picked up while we were kicked out of the house. The kids and I did some back to school shopping, picked up some thrift stores. I went to Orinoco gold rush days and helped my girlfriend, Marsha, near the dog, helped her set up and sell. And so I walked around just a little bit and did a little bit of shopping and yeah, Let's check out what we've got. I also want to mention that I do have a website restock at least once a month, and that is on the first Saturday of the month, essentially. So I do a Facebook live sale on the first Sunday of the month, then the day before is the website restock. So it is coming up, I think, next week. So. First off, I have this little mortar and pestle bolt. Now, I do not know if it's old or new. It definitely has been sanded and stripped, but there's also some adhesive down there. Now, that doesn't mean that wasn't from the thrift store or the antique store or whatever. Um, I haven't done any research, but I didn't care if it was new or old because I really liked the look. Really liked the look. This bowl was such a great price. I think I got it for a couple dollars. Um, I, it's not, I do like finished wood, but I am following the trends and really liking raw wood, obviously, if you've looked at my built-ins. And, and actually, I do have about three other bowls this color, but I plan on taking all three bowls, um, nesting them, obviously, but sanding them down or stripping them down and then bleaching them, at least getting them more distressed, something like this versus the shiny. So that's just the looking look I'm going for right now. And then I love patriotic decor. This is a uh, Betsy Ross tin, I think is what it is. And I just thought it was a great price. It would be super cute and easy to set out and display with. So I grabbed that. You know me in money boxes. So when I saw this at Orinoco, our neighbor actually had it and I know she is a follower and I do not remember what her business name is. So I apologize, but this is a cute little size. I think it will stack or nest with others that I have, but I'm not even 100% sure it is a money box because it's got this inside label chewing gum Zeno. So maybe people used it, maybe it was originally sold for advertising um, and storing the gum, or maybe somebody added that in later to just use it, repurpose it like that. So you could, you could um, showcase this open or shut. And then I picked up at the thrift store a bunch of these little chalkboards. So these, that one has, um, somebody's been playing tic-tac-toe. A lot of them have yellow chalk written on the back, but they are just the little um, writing boards that students would have had at their seats. These are great. I'm a little bit late because today was actually the first day of school, August 23rd, and today is my husband's birthday. He turns 45. So it's like first day of school and his birthday. So I feel like sometimes his birthday kind of gets lost a little bit because it's the first day of school and he's a teacher. So, um, but these would be great for your back to school displays. Of course, they are my favorite color green. This, I have had some really unique flower frogs and I have the most unique one I've ever had listed on the website at thejunkparlor.com. So be sure and check that out. 
And you can tell me, Brooke, you don't know what you're talking about. This isn't a flower frog and it might not be, but that was just my guess that you could put a flower frog or flower frog, a flower stem in each one of these. You could do pens, pencils. Um, oh, I got a curling iron up there. You could do an old curling iron because they're really pretty spacious. You know, like, see, I can put my finger in it that far, but I'd never seen one like this before. And I just thought, that's very cool. I need to get it. At one thrift store, oh, Kyla had a doctor's appointment in Pella, so we went down to Pella and thrifted a little bit. I'll put all the places that I hit up um, this week in the description, so if you wanna click that, then you can get addresses and go shop the same places as me if you are local. But the duck and the ram I thought were just the cutest. These are copper. This one says Solid Copper Village by uh, Feltzgraf, which I guess I thought they were just a pottery place, but um, they must do cookie cutters as well. So I just thought these were the two. They had a lot of them. They were priced kind of high. It's one of those thrift stores that some of the antique prices or things they think are antiques are just like insane, crazy prices. Those were a little bit high, but I really, 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 really liked them. So I went ahead and grabbed just those two. So I just picked my favorite two and went with that. Then I got a little stuck stack of butter pats. I think they are like transfer wear, little brown pattern. This one probably has the most gold around the rim, which I'm not sure is showing up on the camera very well. Like this one, I can't even see any gold around it. So I don't know if it's worn off over time. Um, I think it has just because on some of them, it's just more faint, but all of these match and they have, well, this one has a two on the bottom. I thought it was a 20 here. This one looks more like a 20. Let's see if I can get the camera. And actually this one looks even more like a 20. And then this one has some kind of embossed stamp on it too. No idea what it actually says. So these are not crazy, crazy chunky ones, but they're not the super, super thin ones. So I thought that someone would like them. Plus, because they have the brown transfer wear. And then this Watkins salad um, book. I have a girl that collects Watkins stuff and we've kind of switched from stuff to she's wanting some cookbooks. So I hope she ha doesn't have this one. She likes this one. You know, it definitely caught my eye because it's green. And then my favorite stocking that I used growing up is a crazy quilt stocking. And this one just was cute, called my name. Somebody probably, you know, made it from an old quilt, which I debated doing. Um, when we moved, I sold a couple really nice crazy quilts that were super thick wool ones, or at least the back was wool. Probably should have kept them, um, but I didn't. So I'm trying to find some that would look good with the one that I have. Um, hung up for Christmas and then I found a couple and then I sold a couple <laughs> so I'm still at my original one and then this one a lot of people have been really wanting little rolling pins lately um, and displaying with them if you've watched me for very long you know I was really working on doing like a rolling pin Christmas tree but then people wanted to buy them before I'd made the collection and that's why I never get big collections of things like some dealers I know because people say, hey, do you have blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, yes, yes I do. And so I just go ahead and sell it. So we're gonna be selling these. This mirror, you know me in mirrors or maybe you don't know me, but I love mirrors. I have mirrors on literally almost every wall in the house. I, I, I do believe in there being too many of something, <laughs> but I can't find other things that I want to hang in these spots. So I just keep hanging mirrors or leaning mirrors in my bookcase. And this one is awesome. So it's got the beveled or the cut glass edges. It's got these metal brackets on a beautiful color wood. This is the color that I really like. It's old, it's got the paper backing, the old string. 
Um, it's got some good weight to it. I mean, it's what, probably an inch, but the detailing on it, I just absolutely love it. And so, I don't know, I might have to hang it up. It's just so cute. Marshmallow tins are all the rage, right? So every time I pick up, I've never had the Angelus one or whatever, but I have had mini campfires. They sell so, so, so quick. So when I saw this one, it is a McMurray's, and I have not done any research on it. It is a McMurray's Picnic Marshmallow. So it does have a paper label, which I don't know if that's good or bad. I think it's bad in the sense that it can get damaged a lot easier, but it's still a picnic uh, or a marshmallow tin, and it's super cool. Love the little striping. You can still read it, and it's just like a normal, I don't know, tin size. Behind me here, I have a Hershey's um, chocolate tin, that round thing, it's kind of hard to see probably, but that's gonna be getting listed on the website. If not the next restock, it'll be the next restock. I've got two little vignettes going here for the website. But anywho, this would look great stacked with some more marshmallow tins or that Hershey's tins and make a little like, um, s'more station, hot chocolate bar would be super cute. I'm not really a putz house girl, but I have bought a couple and the couple that I bought, I bought because they, one of them was green and just reminded me of my old house, the crafts and bungalow, which I'll put up here. If you want to get a tour of our old house and I don't know, I just really liked it, but then I sell everything. I, 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 I find joy in finding things and passing it on to somebody else who is going to love it. So when I saw these putz houses, you know, I blue is probably my second favorite, favorite color. And it's just like, bam, this is a pop of blue, right? So I liked these. It has an old sticker on it. That's not what I paid for it. Um, it says the Dolly Toy Company. It's a little bit rough, but sitting beside it, I also have a thing for churches. I think I have a thing for churches just because we had a son that died when I was nine months pregnant. And even though that made me kind of not go to church and be angry at God, which is a whole nother side note, I still really like churches. So even though I'm getting a little bit teary over it and there's a loose piece in here I keep looking at, but I don't think it goes with this. So this church I just thought was beautiful. It still has the like cellophane paper in it. Again, the blue color, it is also stamped there on the bottom. So she had these two setting out in her booth. I got these at Orinoco and I said, I think I'm going to get them. And then she said, well, I got another one that's even more broken. Well, this this probably goes somewhere on it because it seems it seems churchish. So anyway, so I'll have to play with that and kind of figure out where that might go. But it seems like it's going to go with the church. And she's like, it needs some love and it needs um, put together or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. So here is the other one. I think it's just sitting there. So it needs a little bit of attention. I mean, really, it doesn't need attention. I can just <laughs> set it like that. It would be fine. But these kind of are snow covered and I just really like the blue. So we'll see if I can make a few little repairs. I mean, they're not perfect, but I still really liked them. So guys, if you enjoy seeing my haul, if you enjoy my decorating videos, my shop with me, please, please, please click that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment. Tell me what's your favorite thing that I found this week. I really appreciate it. All right, until next time.